Well, AJ, this year has been somewhat of a dream year for you from kissing the bricks at Indy in the Cup Series to winning the regular season title in the Xfinity Series. And now today you're here at Phoenix Raceway with a chance to go for the championship. What has this year meant to you? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's as you said, it's, it has been a dream come true. It's a season that coming into this year full time with college racing for the first time in the Xfinity Series, I didn't really know what to expect and to be able to win five races win the regular season championship and as you said oh by the way get to go kiss those bricks in a cup series race at indy has been um more than i could ever imagine this is a way to cap it off to be here in phoenix and at least have a shot at a championship and you know at the end of the day hopefully we go execute we have the speed and the hyper ice chevy and go make it happen but if not no matter what this has just been an amazing year well, you're 200 miles away from that title. You have Daniel Hamrick, reigning champ Austin Sendrick, and Noah Gregson standing in your way. What do you kind of think your biggest challenge will be when it comes to competing against those three drivers? Well, I mean, in a way, you can't worry about them. Uh, obviously, we're racing against them, so you've got to kind of worry about them. But, uh, you know, our biggest thing is going out there and executing. We, you know, this is a racetrack in the spring race we weren't great at. So I feel like we've come back and made the car better. Uh, but we know Austin for sure can dominate this racetrack. He's won the last two. Daniel's been really fast wherever they go, and Noah's on a lot of momentum. So through the playoff run, we've been smart. You know, you worked really hard in the regular season to get those points. We haven't had a, a lot of outright speed if you take outside the rovals. So we, uh, if we don't have the speed right away, then we might have to do something different to, uh, to kind of catch them off guard. But the good thing is they know that if uh, there's a, a, a late race yellow and it comes down to a restart, I'm willing to do whatever it takes. All right, and I have to ask you about this. You're going for the title today, but later this month, your wife going for Miserous America. What is the Almendinger household like right now? <laughs> well, this is minor right now in the Almendinger household. This is the small deal. Now, I'm really proud of her. She's uh, Mrs. North Carolina, and uh, with that title, you go to uh, Las Vegas and, and you compete for Mrs. America. So she's put a lot of effort into it, and uh, I love the passion that she has for it because it's the same thing that I have with, with racing. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully... No matter what, we can have two celebrations. We can have one here in Phoenix, then one in a couple of weeks in Las Vegas. But no matter what, I like, in a, in, it may be bad saying this, I really like her chances better than mine. So she's uh, she just got to go do her thing, but just super proud of her. Well, best of luck today, and maybe we'll see you in Victory Lane a little later. Thank you. Sorry.